What's up guys, Lunar here, and today we have more brand new console mods to look at for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One over two videos. So if you haven't done so yet, check out the second video, which was episode 200. In the vids today, I decided on two PS4 mods and three Xbox mods in each video, as there's always far more Xbox One mods to cover, and I always end up running out of PS4 mods. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Before we jump into this, can we please reach 150 comments and 600 likes? It really does make a big difference to my channel, even if some of you guys don't always like me asking for comments comments and likes. Anyway, let's jump into the first mod. Our first mod is another potion texture replacer mod, and the mod simply replaces the texture and meshes of vanilla potions. The mod uses the following resources for the potions if you want to know. Alluring Potions Bottle version 3 and AOF's Potion Replacer for the meshes, and the 6 Schools of Magic symbol resources, Bubble Brush and Arcane Circles for textures, along with various texture resources as well. All of this leads to some pretty awesome looking potions in game now. This very simple mod adds 4 beds and 3 dining chairs to the Hearthfire houses, Heliarchin Hall, Lakeview Manor and Winstead Manor. If you use the mod Relocate NPC, this mod is definitely useful for your new family members or guests. Our next mod is called Divine Skins for Men and Women. The mod aims to improve the texture for male and female characters and NPCs in Skyrim, including vampires. The mod does this by making the following changes to textures and meshes. For meshes, you get the UMP female body mesh and it replaces body, feet and hands. You also get changes to male meshes for body, feet and hands, and there's also better shaped open shoes and sandals for the above male and female meshes as well. So there's changes to the meshes. For textures, you get the female body, head, hands, feet and normals, male body, head, feet, hands and normals as well. For Mer, so the Merfolk have their own normal maps, Orismer, Altmer, Dunmer and Bosmer, that's the Merfolk. Argonian male and female textures now have more skill definition, Khajiit male and female textures, they now have much better looking stripes. For scars, there are scars that are truly unique and offer a specific pink toning to match your character's skin for a realistic looking scar. Tint masks, this improves the makeup and dirt splatters for your characters. Finally, war paints has better definition and more detail as paint. Overall, a very cool mod that alters all the things related to skin in Skyrim for all types of race and character. Tired of friendly NPCs forever saying stupid dog to your funny friend? Then you need this mod. Friendly NPCs, so spouses, house carls, adopted children and NPCs with a good disposition towards the player, will say good dog to your pet provided the dog is friendly towards the player. Unfriendly NPCs are those not disposed towards the player or if the dog is not friendly, NPCs will continue to say stupid dog as per normal. This version affects vanilla dogs only, so Miko and so on, and not Dongard dogs such as Bran and Skilang as they require external assets, and the mod only covers player owned dogs as well. Our final mod is a new armor mod called the Lily, and some of you might remember I covered this mod a little bit on an episode of upcoming mods back in March. Well, it's finally out for Xbox One. The Lily is now fully craftable. First, make the delicate flower at the smelter, and that requires one death bell, and the forge will open up in order to craft this under the leather section. Now, the mod is quite cool. It comes with three different levels of armor rating that will level up with you. You first must find the original armor in Riverwood, and at levels 12, 25, and 35, a recipe opens up at the forge to create the next tiers. They are scaled, glass, and dragon scale, with increased armor ratings for each. All pieces can be tempered and they require no smithing perk, just the right level and current items on your person in order to create each of them. Also, each of the pieces can be enchanted as well. So if you're looking for a new cool armor mod that comes with different armor ratings, then definitely check out this mod. Well, that's about it for today. If you found the two videos today useful, a like and comment is very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe to see a lot more Skyrim content. I have hundreds of similar videos for you guys to check out. If you're already a subscriber, be sure to join the notification squad as well and see those videos as soon as they come out each day. But for now, take care and you guys have an awesome day.